remade every mob into Smash Bros. characters in Minecraft. First, we'll make Kirby from this cute little pig. It's already pink, so we'll just need to squish him into a ball shape, slap the legs back on there, and turn them into some arms and feet. This is cursed looking right now, but we'll fix it. Draw on Kirby's cute little face. Let's fix these feet to be his shoes. And Kirby is looking ready to eat up the competition. Looking boxy and cute. Those feet always surprisingly larger and longer than the body itself. Kirby's getting eager to get some action going over here. Walking closer and a massive hammer comes out on this husk. Let's see it again, Kirby. Bam! Down he goes. This husk is not gonna have a happy ending guaranteed. Bye-bye, buddy. Now let's turn this hopping rabbit into a high-jumping Yoshi. Stretch out this torso a bit. Double up this rabbit head to make Yoshi's face. Tack on those legs for jumping. Now paint him green. Give him those red spines on his back. And voila! Yoshi! This little guy could just run away from that hammer. He's so tiny, he's gonna dodge every single incoming whack. Or he could turn down and take it to the shell. Yoshi, you're gonna have to be able to give it out, too. Which is why I've given you a very special dangerous ability. Tossing eggs. This husk is not gonna last. Let's see if Yoshi's eggs can explode every husk all at once. Oh my goodness. It's just children left. Yoshi, hold off. Have mercy. Let's see if it's Yoshi or Kirby that comes out on top in a head-to-shell battle. Kirby is gonna take the first hit, but moves forward to dodge the egg toss. The hammer's still in. Comes out now. A whack but the shell looks almost indestructible at first. Yoshi's trying to back up and takes down Kirby right away. You innocent looking man with such violence in that little heart. Yoshi's our first winner. We're gonna make this squid a squid kid. Er, an inkling. Duplicate the body to make it more human shaped. Retexture the body, change up the head to get the long tentacle like orange hair. Add on the ink ammo backpack, paint to orange to fit her team's color. And she is ready to ink up the battlefield with a massive pack of paint on the back. Let's spread a couple husks all the way around this stadium. See how quickly and how much paint she can toss out at once. There it is on the ground. Orange paint all over. And as the husks walk over it, they're taking further damage along the way. Oh gosh, Inkling is cornered. And the baby husk is taking advantage of the situation right here. Okay, thank goodness Inkling survived the baby husk. That means Inkling might be able to last with all that orange paint. Time to turn this villager into the keyblade wielding Sora. First, we'll put some youth in his face. Face. Give him that sleek jacket. Slap those red pants on him. And I can't forget those oversized yellow shoes. Spike his hair out and he's ready to rock and roll. These shoes are huge. And that hair, I gotta figure out where Sora's getting that haircut from. Because I could use a haircut for my bald head myself. But the key here is not the hair. It's the key. Huss, turn on Sora. Sora turns on Huss. Throwing out the key, sticking them in place, stuck for good, almost frozen, and the husks continue on, but they get hit again and go down. The real question is, can Inkling paint fast enough, or does Sora have the keys to victory? Ready? Fight! It looks like Inkling might toss the paint first, but Sora does the key at the same time, and now Inkling is stuck in place. Inkling has the advantage, it looks like, but those rings are coming out quickly. Inkling is continuously stuck, hit every single time, actually manages to drop that one, and get out of the way, and the damage over time takes down Sora. That was an impeccable, flawless victory by Inkling. I definitely thought that was gonna go the other way. Let's make the hero of Fire Emblem Marth out of this wandering traitor. We can keep this blue color for his hair, but the rest of the head has gotta go. Give this honorable warrior his crown. Now we'll work on making his outfit suit his medieval fantasy look. Yes, my lord. Add on his blue and gold flowing cape, and he's ready to fight for glory. And we've got the fun guy with the sword. Mark. Let's see how much damage Marth can do with that sharp sword. Looks like he's backing up. He's getting some distance. He's grabbed the high ground. This is gonna be a whack for the ages. That hip double damage. Down goes a husk. Can confirm the sword is sharp. Time to turn this piglin brute into the super strong Samus. Okay, this looks weird right now, but trust me. We color all this orange and bam, Samus's power suit. Time to give her that arm gun to fire some charge shots. Last but not least, let's draw in the visor here. You know, so she can actually see. Honestly, one of the coolest models. I've ever made. Samus is looking absolutely beefy and her kneecaps look heavily protected. Now I may be a little biased here folks, but I believe that might be a little stronger than a sword. Let's find out though for sure. Samus charges up a beam, blast a husk away. One shot, one knock. 
and fires the next one into a pillar. We're gonna have to work on our targeting a little bit. There goes though, and bam, knocked to the dirt. It's strong, but well, the intelligence might not be there. Who's gonna come out on top of this? Samus, oh, charges up already. A knockback on Marth. That looked painful. Marth is not even gonna be able to get close at all. And here it comes again. Wait, a counter strike from Marth. Shot it right back towards Samus. Another blast, a counter strike again. Samus gets knocked back. Samus is getting backed up, not able to do anything. Gets the high ground, blasts it down, and down goes Marth. Oh my goodness, Marth got absolutely clobbered on. Time to make this speedster Captain Falcon from this Vindicator. Let's work on his helmet first. Now got to work on those muscles in there. Now let's wrap that yellow scarf around his neck. Visor, check. Gloves, check. And overall cool dude, absolutely check. Anytime that Captain Falcon gets close to any hostile mob like this husk, he's gonna charge up in flames, dash towards with a super punch. Captain Falcon charges, down goes a husk. That is looking insanely powerful. We're gonna need somebody strong. Time to turn this fox into fox. Well, Star Fox, that is. Let's make his eyes green and bigger. Oh, yeah. With that green eyepiece, he's ready to captain a whole fleet. Now it's time to move these Fox body parts and make them into Fox's body. Copy that. Star Fox is ready for action. Star Fox looks ready to take down one of his friends. Watch this right here. Bam, bam, bam. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, my goodness. That was four or five. Star Fox loads. Boom. Two of them down. Oh, my goodness. Star Fox. This blaster that Star Fox has is beefy. You better prepare a falcon punch real fast. This friendly rivalry is gonna turn deadly real quick. The punch comes in. The blaster gets fired off. Star Fox takes a little bit of burn damage there. Blasts him again. This is going to be interesting. Who's gonna come out on top? We're about to find out. Star Fox takes down Captain Falcon decisively. Not a single bit of regret on his face. We'll use this witch to make this psychic child Ness. Yeah, if we want him to look like Ness, we're gonna have to make him a lot shorter. Fit him in the classic striped shirt. Put on his red and blue cap. Let's give him his little backpack to hold, I don't know, his school books. And Ness is ready to show us what he's got. And he's looking ready for school. Of course, we're gonna need him to battle. And he didn't bring his bat. But instead of his bat, Ness has brought his fire. A wall of flames blocking him off from anybody that would try to get to him. Here comes another wall of flame. That husk is stuck and burning consistently. So consistently. That looked insanely strong. Now it's time to turn this little ocelot into a real feline. Incineroar. Splash some red on this fire tiger and make the face more menacing. Incineroar has a giant tail. For a cat, Incineroar sure seems to hit the gym a lot. That is one beefy feline. And last but not least, gotta have that fiery wrestler's belt. Incineroar will definitely be looking for a KO. Incineroar is looking huge. That chest, oh my golly, benching at least 500, but obviously never hitting leg day. So Incineroar can absorb the damage, then turn around, grapple Ness, and yeet him out of the arena just like he did to this husk here. Another husk still stepping on his turf, tosses him. Woo! Oh my gosh, one hit. That was pretty intense. The real question is, are you going to be able to get close enough? Because if Ness can stay away, you're not going to be able to land a grapple. But he lands a grapple right away and takes advantage of the fight. Ness finally throws out a firewall and starts burning. And Cineroar walks through the flame wall in order to get to him over the side of the arena. Ness is on the ground, turns back to Cineroar and launches a flame attack that knocks him out for good. I got one last challenge for these fighters. We'll use a regular skeleton to make Master Hand. Take this bony body and turn it into a full hand. Now shape the fingers to fit like a glove. Ooh, Master Hand is looking to put these spiders in their place. And let's turn this Wither Skeleton into the Wild Crazy Hand. Paint it white and make it hand-shaped. Build out those fingers as well and make those fingers bent and creepy looking. I'm not sure these spiders are going to be able to handle Crazy Hand's unpredictability. Master Hand and Crazy Hand. These things look dangerous. Our winners, Ness, Yoshi, Inkling, Stop Star Fox and Samus. The hand instantly turns. Yoshi gets blasted straight away. A shot comes in from Samus. This is gonna be a close fight, I can already tell. Inkling throws out the paint. It's coating the battlefield. They've already got Master Hand and Crazy Hand down to half health, and it looks like Yoshi has left us, which is oh so sad. It looks like Samus could be going down any moment here. Star Fox has left us, and Samus goes down in the background, and Inkling goes down as well. It's just Ness left. Ness is trying to back off ever so slowly, manages to throw another flame pit out, but keeps 
keeps getting blasted left and right. Move faster, Ness. Move faster. Just one or two more burns is all that's needed. This could be the burst. A final blast. The wall is up. Master hands go down. And Ness takes it in, keeping the Smash Bros alive. Well, technically, just one of them.